So, you want a ragdoll cat? That's great! But while this amazing breed has many wonderful traits, it also has its downsides, which you should definitely be aware of. But don't worry, in this video you'll learn the pros and cons of getting this gorgeous cat breed. Number 1. Ragdolls are affectionate kitties and will do anything to get your attention. Some like sitting on any lap they can find, while others are just happy to lay next to you. One thing's for sure, they're loving fluff balls. Number 2. Ragdolls typically love meeting new people. Since they're pretty laid back, they don't get scared by people they don't know. Even non-cat people will most likely fall in love with them. Number 3. Here's another excellent trait associated with this breed. Ragdolls don't require much exercise, as they're not really fond of it. This is a huge plus for most people, as adulting keeps us very busy. Ragdolls can even get by with a moderate belly pouch. Number 4. Ragdolls are smart. They quickly learn your habits, for example, your morning routine. But that's not all. Ragdolls can even understand when you're not feeling well and come to comfort you. Their wise eyes and intelligence won't ever stop surprising you. Number 5. Ragdolls are simply gorgeous. Their appeal is given by their fluffy, pointed coat, large frames, and intense blue eyes. The ragdoll is one of the most popular cat breeds in the world, and I'm sure a lot of this breed's success has to do with its looks. Number 6. Ragdolls are typically hardy, healthy cats. Ragdolls have a pretty good life expectancy, with an average of about 14 to 16 years. That's a huge plus, as I'm sure every cat owner wants their furry kid to live as long as possible. Still, there is a health risk you should definitely know about, and it's included in the cons part. Number 7. Since their energy level is relatively low, ragdolls don't need cashews or frequent walks to be happy. They're pretty content to be indoor cats. Still, if you can take your cat out for a walk, your ragdoll will probably appreciate it. Number 8. Ragdolls are great for kids and get along pretty well with other pets, so if you have a large family, a ragdoll kitty would be a fantastic addition. Sadly, it's not all sunshine and rainbows. You also need to know this breed's disadvantages to see the whole picture. Number 1. Since ragdolls need affection and do best in the company of others, they shouldn't be left alone for too long. That's why it's best to have another furry companion for your ragdoll if you don't work from home. Number 2. Their calm manner can get them in trouble if they manage to escape. Ragdolls are so laid back that it's hard for them to detect dangers. Your ragdoll will most likely have no problem approaching unknown dogs, not to mention humans. For this reason, be extra vigilant and don't ever leave your ragdoll outside unsupervised. Number 3. The adorable but lazy ragdoll is prone to obesity, a highly dangerous condition that can lead to diabetes and heart disease. It's therefore mandatory to not overfeed your cat. Also, you will have to entice a ragdoll to play if he or she gets chubby. Number 4. Since they're smart, ragdolls can learn undesirable behaviors such as finding a way to destroy your plants or opening your drawers and eating all the food they can find. So if you're willing to adopt to any situation, then a ragdoll would be great for you. But if not, it's best to look for another, less intelligent kitty. Number 5. Their beautiful fluffy coats come at a cost. While some ragdolls only require weekly brushings, others need daily grooming sessions. The ragdolls with finer hair need more maintenance, as their coats are prone to forming mats. I don't know about you, but brushing a cat every day seems like a burden. But if you don't mind, that's awesome! You'll also have to be okay with cleaning more often, as ragdolls can shed a lot, especially during spring and autumn. Number 6. Ragdolls are prone to developing a serious health issue called HCM. HCM causes the progressive thickening of the heart's left ventricle and can lead to sudden death. The condition isn't curable, but the medicine can prolong the affected cat's life if it's detected early enough. Sadly, the doctors haven't been able to identify all the genetic mutations that cause this disease. In fact, there are only two identified mutations, one in Maine Coons and the other one in Ragdolls. The Ragdoll-specific mutation is particularly dangerous as it causes an early onset. It can, however, be identified through genetic tests. Still, even the ragdolls that don't test positive can develop the disease, so it's not an exclusive test, but it's still something. Accredited breeders periodically test and screen their cats for many health issues, including HCM. That's why I highly suggest staying away from backyard breeders. Number 7. Ragdolls aren't considered a great choice for people allergic to cats. Unfortunately, there's no hypoallergenic cat breed out there, but some breeds do better than others. People are actually allergic to a protein found in the cat's saliva. The protein is spread all over the cat's fur during grooming, becoming airborne once dried. Ragdolls aren't known for producing fewer allergies 
intelligence than other cats, but they don't have an undercoat and produce less loose hair. If we exclude the seasonal coat changes, males typically produce more allergens, which is another thing to consider. Still, if you suffer from cat allergies, it's best to look for a better option. But we can't end things on a negative note, right? So here's another fascinating thing about ragdolls. They have the richest, most controversial history ever. If you want to hear their incredible history and much more, you must watch this ragdoll one-on-one -on -one video. See you there!